K.T. Oslin, country singer-songwriter, has died. She was 78. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. She was the first female songwriter to win CMA's Song of the Year. She had been battling Parkinson's disease and was diagnosed with COVID-19 last week. In the 80s, she had three big albums. 80s Ladies, which was also the name of a huge hit by her, reached number one in 1987. This Woman reached number two the following year. And Love in a Small Town, from 1990, peaked at number five. And she had 11 U.S. country hits. First, we'll talk about the number ones. Do You peaked on the U.S. country charts in 1988, followed by another chart topper, I'll Always Come Back, Hold Me in 1988, and her last number one, Come Next Monday from 1990. Some of the other country top 40 hits, the aforementioned 80s Ladies, 1987, There Was Money the following year, Hey Bobby in 89, followed by This Woman. She was born May 15, 1942, K. Twinette Oslin in Arkansas. Her father was a foreman in a paper mill who passed away when she was only five. After that, she moved to Houston with her mom, and she majored in drama. In the 70s, she would move to New York City, where she got a part in West Side Story and Hello, Dolly. In 1995, Oslin had coronary bypass surgery, and she was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2015. She moved to assistant living the year after that. May she rest in peace. What are your favorite songs? Did you ever meet her, see her in concert? Share your memories. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rock History Music. (laughs) 